Hi everybody, Scott Evelyn here uh, for this week's video book club installment from the lobby of the fabulous uh, Courtyard Marriott at Baltimore Washington International Airport. I'm here this evening to be in position tomorrow for the final session of a group coaching program that we're running at a company nearby and I'm looking forward to that. It's been a great group. But tonight the topic is this week's video book club selection Orbiting the Giant Hairball by Gordon McKenzie. This book has been around now for maybe 10 or 15 years. Uh, Gordon McKenzie passed away uh, a few years ago. He had about a 30 plus year career at Hallmark Cards. He was an artist there and you can see from the cover of the book, this is his artwork on the cover and the book itself actually has lots of his artwork throughout. Uh, there's some color photos, uh, just happened to turn to one there. Uh, really creative guy. He called himself the creative paradox. He was allowed to choose his own job title at Hallmark and he sat in his office with really weird lighting that he set up and all kinds of artifacts and put a sign on the, uh, on the door that said creative paradox and people would come and ask him questions and he would just make stuff up. Um, now, orbiting the giant hairball. What's a hairball? Well, the hairball is his metaphor or word for the culture that grows up in large organizations. And you can think of a little ball of tape maybe that collects some, some cat hair or some dog hair in your house. And it collects more and more hair over time. And it becomes this giant hairball. And that's kind of what the culture's like, he, he felt, in a lot of organizations and so his job he thought was to orbit the hairball not to be of the hairball and I think that's pretty good advice for anybody in a large organization here uh, on page 33 I looked at it earlier page 33 he describes in two paragraphs two very short paragraphs what the book is really all about to find orbit around a corporate hairball is to find a place of balance where you benefit from the physical, intellectual, and philosophical resources of the organization without becoming entombed in the bureaucracy of the institution. If you are interested, and it is not for everyone, you can achieve orbit with a capital O. You can achieve orbit by finding the personal courage to be genuine and to take the best course of action to get the job done rather than following the pallid path of corporate appropriateness. This is a really neat little book. You can see it's really thin. I, I read it one evening a few months ago in a couple of hours. And a lot of great stories, some very funny stories uh, about life inside Hallmark as well as outside of Hallmark. But a lot of wisdom uh, presented in a very digestible way. And if you're someone that's leading in a large organization, or following in a large organization, maybe you're doing both at once. I think this book's pretty good for a sanity check and to give you some ideas on what you can do to be orbiting and contributing to and benefiting from the organization, but not being sucked into the gravitational pull of the giant hairball. So that's it from BWI Airport this evening, or the Courtyard Marriott more accurately. Uh, we'll see you next week on the Video Book Club. Have a great week coming up. Bye-bye.